Well, hello. Thank you for joining us. This short video is to describe an exciting program being offered here at St. Petersburg College. It is the OCB 1000C Introduction to Marine Biology course. I taught this uh, OCB 1000C for years as a two day a week course where one day we met in the classroom and then one day we met out in the field. Uh, the state of Florida changed the guidelines for gen ed. Uh, so this class dwindled. It's really, really a great class, hands-on uh, meetings. We're trying to revitalize it. We're offering a split section, half North County at Tarpon Springs, half South County at Seminole. It used to be a two day a week program, but now it's a one day meeting and we'll be meeting in the field. And then another day video lecture, uh, they are recorded asynchronous so you can watch them at any time. I'd like to take a few minutes to uh, go through the class and go through its schedule. Hopefully you decide to take it. Many of you are my current students. Uh, taking online courses or blended classes. And I want to thank you for your time for watching this. The first thing I'll have a look at is the schedule itself. Now, it is a 16 week class divided into two units, the midterm unit and the finals unit. You can see that there's a trip or lab every week that'll be one day on Tuesdays held in North or South County and one day Thursdays held in North or South County. And I'm not sure which day is North and which day is South County because they're working on the schedule, but there'll be two distinct meeting and you'll be required to attend one. The video lectures are all on YouTube and they're all closed captioned for the hearing impaired and they're all linked in the class. So you can see every week you'll be responsible for a trip and a video lecture, a trip and a video lecture or a in-class lab and a video lecture with a midterm final exam the last weeks of each unit. So let's have a quick look at the program itself. And I'm going to click on the marine biology. Take a couple seconds as it's spinning. Now remember, this is a field class. So the majority of your grade will be based on field work and field exams. There is an academic component as well. All right, course content. We can click on the course content. And I will take a look at the entire table of contents. You can see there's our midterm unit, our finals unit, orientation week. Let's take a look at the midterm unit. The textbook is online. So there is no formal textbook. There is a field guide. The field guide I will show you uh, in a moment. Uh, so basically you buy one low cost field guide and all of the textbook information is online. Here, down here, you have your class lectures. The class lectures are YouTube links. After the class lectures, we also have a textbook link, and of course, your midterm review and midterm exam. The midterms are proctored over on or locked and you'll have a window in which to take them. The final exam uh, unit, the final unit is set up the exact same way the midterm unit is. Lectures and then an academic test. The bulk of the course is the field work. The field work, you can see we have seabird sanctuary, maritime forest study, spring fed estuaries, 
in-class lab for the microorganism. Uh, let's click on the beaches because everyone loves the beach. We'll click on the beaches and you can see you have PDF files to read on sand dunes and shells. Here's your PDF files. You can click on them and read them. Again, there won't be a lab textbook either. They're all in documents. You can see here videos, beach zonation at Madeira Beach, Parks of Pinellas, North Beach, Fort DeSoto, Parks of Pinellas, Dunedin Causeway, and Honeymoon Island. Because we'll be meeting at the Honeymoon Island or Dunedin Causeway, you watch the videos. Uh, let's say you're in North County, we meet at Honeymoon Island, you watch the Fort Soto videos and uh, get all the information about Fort Soto as well. So you're not missing anything. Videos, uh, and you should probably watch all of them uh, for um, information so you don't miss anything. Then you have your instructions, the Word document, where you write your uh, trip or lab write up, and then the Dropbox to deposit them. So each week we have a different activity, and you have a report to turn in. So you'll be meeting, doing the report, submitting the report, watching a video. That will be your weekly program. Toward the end, we will have a final project where uh, you will make a presentation to the class, much like I made the videos. Uh, you don't necessarily have to make videos. You'll visit a habitat or select a group of organisms, say sharks or uh, something along those lines, and give a brief presentation to the class. And it can be pre-recorded if you're nervous to speak in front of people or you can make a PowerPoint or you can bring things in, uh, but we'll be meeting in a classroom this final week and you can present to the class your, your choice of uh, what topic you chose. The topics will be listed and we will uh, assign them on a first come, first serve request basis. The extra credit module, uh, will be a virtual field trip. You can take a trip to the Clearwater Marine Aquarium and, and do some work there. Or you can make field trip videos, much like what we have here, and do a virtual field trip of your own. So there'll be three extra credit assignments. You can choose two out of three. Now, this is a very, very exciting course. I did promise. Here's the Audubon Guide to Florida. This is the required field guide book. Uh, you can see it has all of the organisms, fish. Uh, it actually uh, covers a, a great number of organisms that are marine, but it also covers non marine organisms. So it's a great book to have for any naturalist in Florida. Uh, that about wraps up uh, the program. I just wanted to get the message out there to all of my students and prospective students, letting them know that this new and exciting program is available. And I really would like it to grow into something special. I think it could be the most exciting class uh, on campus. Thank you. My phone's ringing. Have a great day.